How you doing, YouTubians? Gary here with VW Jawbreaker. Wow, we live in an interesting world now. Months, six weeks ago, everything was normal and everybody's going about their business and we have car shows to go to and all kinds of fun stuff and we're just... <coughs> some are quarantined, some are isolated to their house, some are out of work, some are working. It's definitely diff difficult times we're living in right now. Keep your chin up and pardon my sweat. It's like 94 degrees here in Florida today. It is brutally hot. I am working unlike some of the other people. I'm actually working a lot. So I've not really had a whole lot of time to do stuff. Um, I haven't really had a whole lot of time to dive into projects I want to do. I've just been working, coming home, resting, and going right back at it again. Well, today I'm a little bored. Let's see what I started doing today. As you can see, we've got a nice shine here, nice and smooth on half of the bonnet, hood, whatever you want to call it. The other side's nice and dull. Definitely, uh, definitely very noticeable. How did I do that? Very simple. 1500 grit wet sand and some Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. Let's get you set up and we'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. I have a piece of sponge I use. I'm just going to wet it down and start the sanding. I probably use too much water. Don't follow my advice. I'm not an expert. What do I know? It's been years since I've done this until I talked to my buddy BW Nut 1967 recently. If it wasn't for him refreshing me, I don't think we'd be doing this at all. You just want to sit there and sand it a couple different directions until you feel it nice and smooth. And you can actually feel how smooth that is versus how rough everything else is. You just want to continue sanding. Get it all the nooks and crannies. That's where the sponge comes in handy, in my opinion. That's it. spot there. Alright, smooth. Alright. Throw a little extra water on there. Help rinse it off a tad. Take an old towel. Wet it down again. Get as much of the junk off as possible. All right. She's sanded down. Now that she's pretty much dry, we got our wool pad. Ultimate compound. Make sure you shake it up. I put a liberal amount on. Probably don't need that much. Just kind of spread it around that way it doesn't kind of plunk all over the place. You don't want the buffer throwing it all over the place. It's just kind of a waste. All right, let's get to work.
looking good. There you go. You can definitely tell a spot up there I missed. Probably enough on the pad left to do that. Looks a little better. Now I'm sweating all over because it it's hot out here, guys. There you go. Can you see it? I think it looks pretty decent. So I guess if I get too bored, I'm going to end up wet sand and buffing the whole car. I think I'll definitely make it look a little nicer. That's for sure. What a difference. This is a step I don't know if you really need to do or not, but I decided to do it. I don't have any regular wax. I'm using Meguiar's Cleaner Wax. And I can't find the pad to my orbital buffer. So we're just going to go ahead and throw a little on there and do it old school by hand. Wipe it in real good and go back and do some circular motions over it. Let it dry up for a few minutes. I'll go ahead and buff it off. See what you think. Now we'll take a clean microfiber cloth and start working this cleaner out. So what do you think? I think we need to back it outside in the sun and really see what it looks like. Alright, hold on. Going for a ride. Alright. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it looks like a little bit of metal flake in the paint. I never realized that was there. This thing's always been so dull. Got a nice shine to it, I tell you that. I'm not sure if it's really showing up on camera much. Oh, there you go. Look at the hood versus the fender. That kind of looks good. I don't know. You guys think it's worth the extra effort? So the other thing I've been thinking about is two-toning the car. Think about leaving the hood, the roof, leave the roof, leave the deck lid, definitely leave the fenders. But all of this area not just from the bottom up to the line, but also around the windows, painting a solid color. I don't know what color either. Maybe it is this boredom. Really not sure. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think the two-tone might look pretty good. Definitely be something different. Jawbreaker's different. Gotta love that. I think I might go ahead and wet sand the roof next. Try to get the roof around the back window and deck lid done. At least that way all the top side shiny. Well guys, like I said, different ideas I'm throwing around. Let me know what you think down below. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thank you for stopping by. Do me a favor, go on my channel, go through the playlist if you're bored. There's several different videos there. 
thank you to the new subscribers that have come along. Also down in each video description I have usually a list of different channels. Sometimes I'll switch it up. Check out some of those other channels. Support those YouTube people as well. Some are small, some are larger. But they're all great people. That's one thing about the YouTube community. Community. That's a little better. YouTube community is really awesome. If it wasn't for people like you, it wouldn't be here. So thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you. So, until the next time, guys, be safe, be healthy, wash your hands, stop freaking out over stuff, and be good.